Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. Now you are watching part 3 of the sub series C Ash application configuration file. In this video, we will see how to create app.config file and add configuration section into this. These are all the slide decks from a previous video. First, we learned about the configuration file hierarchies, and here we are dealing with app.config. Next, we learned about the example. So, now we will talk about application configuration file. If you see, the configuration starts with uh, configuration that's the root node and uh, here is the ending node for the configuration and uh, this uh, configuration is a combination of uh, config section here we are not using any config section and uh, we have sample entries for uh, app settings app settings uh, denotes application related settings and these application related settings may contain one or more key and uh, value pairs in our example we have five five key value pairs here the tag name is add using the add you can um, add one or more pairs so the pair come with key and value so here for example we specify the key key name is key one and value value one likewise you can add any application setting for example key equal to um, application theme say for example add key theme value equal to maroon or a desert so Likewise, you can add key and value pair for your application. So, like app settings, we can also have connection strings. So, this is a separate configuration setting. Under app settings, we can add application related settings and the connection string supplies database connection information to your uh, desktop application so under connection strings also you can add a specific application setting using the add key i mean the add tag so here also we use add the similar uh, or uh, the similar methodology we will use here under the connection strings using add we can add a connection string and if you see here since we have to add we have two connection string in this uh, application setting so first connection string setting we named it as pubs then connection string we specified the connection string after that we specified provider name also here we are using sql client and here also we are using a sql client so if you are experienced user you can directly create this uh, connection setting inside the application uh, configuration file otherwise we can use the um, project properties and from there we can create the connection string and the connection string entry will automatically get populated into this uh, configuration file now it's a demo time we will add the app.config file then we will add application specific uh, settings then we will create two connection string entries now let's go to the demo so here is our uh, visual studio we already talked about the um, control names in the previous uh, video now we will go to solution explorer and we will right click on the project name we will choose add new item so here i am picking application configuration file and let us pick the default name here we are the default name is app.config and we will 
use that uh, same name here. So by default, if you see, the config file, app.config file is added under our project and it contains uh, configuration, open and close tags. So if you need, you can use multiple config sections, but uh, here we are not using any config section. Instead, we will use app settings. So here we need to end the app settings. So our app settings, if you see, we have four key value pair. The setting name is key one and the corresponding setting is value one. So in our form design, this is what we will enter here. Say for example, if you enter key three, we want to retrieve value three and display that here. So we will do that during this button click event. So you will see how we can read this app.config file and read the uh, setting value for the provided key okay now we will add connection strings for that we'll right click on the project name choose properties when you choose properties by default it will land in application tab and if it is landing in different tab that means you previously accessed with the tab so all we need to do is go to the settings tab here setting is there name we will give it as pups type we will choose it as a connection string scope is application here you can type your connection string or you can click on this ellipsis button to form the connection string so server name i'm giving here as a local host a school server authentication so here i'm choosing pubs database if you want, you can test the connection, then you can add. So it just uh, states that it contains a sensitive data because uh, we provided the password. And let's create one more connection string, nwind, not wind. Connection string, application, this time, You can either give local or local host SA. This time I'm not checking save my password and not wind. So if you have some other database, you can pick that database and click OK. And if you see we have two connection string information. I'm clicking the save all button here. Now if I go to the app.config uh, you can see the connection string related information is added to our application configuration file let me cut this and place it after app settings so add name equal to app config properties settings pubs this is the connection string and this one is the provider name similarly we have a second connection string for uh, northwind database connection string and provider name so that's all now we created application configuration file if you want to do rebuild you can do the rebuild solution and rebuild all succeeded and let's go to this uh, debug location Here in the debug location, if you see, whatever configuration file we created, that is deployed here under the name application.exe.config. And you can see the 
So this is the password, that's why it asked whether you want to expose the password. For first connection, I told, okay, expose the password. For second one, we doesn't provide the... Just now you saw the demo. Thank you for watching. Bye.